Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. Today we're kicking off our holiday card series and I'm starting with my Sassy Santa stamp set and die and we're going to do a paper toll technique for today. I did mention this uh, when I brought the set out and I thought I would give it a try. It was actually pretty fun and I might try it with some of my other sets as well. It does take quite a bit of time. I think this card took me about 40, 45 minutes to make, which is fairly long for me. It doesn't usually take me too long to do cards, but there's a lot of like coloring and layering involved in this one. Uh, so I'll just, you know, walk you through it. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to stamp two of these Santas for now because I couldn't like rotate the card stock panel that I had, um, like do it three or four times around because it didn't fit lengthwise and height wise. Which is fine. This is just like a standard four and a quarter by five and a half panel. I just have a bunch of them cut up and I keep them in containers along with all of my other things. All my card bases, all my envelopes, they all get saved into the same like five by seven containers. And here I'm kind of like pointing out the layers. Um, so what you'll see me do is I'm going to color the boots and the arm on the left, which is that arm towards the back there. It's technically his right arm, but I'm just going to call it the arm on the left because it looks like it's on the left when you're looking at it. <laughs> um, so that's gonna be like my lowest layer. And then once that one is done, we're gonna move on to the next Santa. I'm not gonna bother coloring this whole image over and over again. It's no point because it's gonna be covered up anyway. Uh, so I'm just coloring the sections that I need for each piece. And now I'm gonna do the front of the jacket and the belt. And then I'll go ahead and restamp both of these. I'm only going to restamp them in the areas I need them where I colored. So for the first Santa, I'm just really re-inking up the boots and the arm. And then this next one, I will just re-ink the like bottom portion where his jacket is. Um, then I'm going to move the stamp and put it like in that empty space there, along with the like happier Santa face because I want this one to be like a joyful card. Um, so sassy Santa's not so sassy this time. <laughs> and then I'm going to color the arm on the right and the hat on the third one. But the third one, I'm going to be cutting it apart. So I'm going to cut the arm off and I'm going to cut the hat off just so I can layer those separately. Um, and then for the head, I'm just going to be coloring the beard and the face because the hat's going to get covered up anyway. So for now, I'll just continue playing music while you guys watch me color, and then you'll see me kind of layer them up afterwards, but I'll come back and then explain that while I'm going as well.
Um, so now that I'm done coloring, I've stamped and used the coordinating dies on these and I'm going to cut out the images now. So I'm just going to cut off um, the jacket and the left arm. I'm not going to cut off the face. It's not necessary. Again, like these pieces are going to be uh, covered up. So I'm just like leaving base layers for the next layer to go on to. You don't want to just be cutting out the pieces you don't need because you're not going to be able to layer it properly. Sorry if you hear my cats running around the background. They tend to get the zoomies after they eat. Is anybody else's cats like that? <laughs> A little bit crazy. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just layering up um, three pieces of white cardstock for my separation layers. You can use foam tape for this, but I would suggest a low profile foam tape, something like Big Mama's foam tape from Simon Says Stamp or, you know, there's like many other brands out there. That's the only one I really know of because I used to have it um, and I miss it because it was like a nice like a little bit of dimension without having too much. Um, I have a little bit of a thicker one from Michael now because it's just easier um, shipping it from the US to Canada. It gets a little pricey, so I might as well just order what I can here. And what I'm doing is I'm adding, again, three layers of cardstock between each layer. This one little arm is going to get three out layers. But then when I put the beard with the face on, I'm going to add six layers because I still want it to be above the arm. Um, but because I colored um, pieces of this, I really just wanted to like cut out the arm and the hat separately. And I didn't want to like leave the face for that. So I just ended up layering it times two. So I just have six layers. It's not super thick cardstock. It is my hammer wheel cardstock. It is 110 pound, I believe. But it's still fairly like thin, um, still thicker than some, but thinner than others, you know. I just have a bunch of like strips in a mug off to the side of my desk here where I, if I need to add a little bit of dimension, I'll just use these scraps up. So that's what I'm doing with that. Most of them are around like the half inch width mark, which is what a foam tape would be. And I have some thicker, some thinner ones. Sometimes I'll cut them down even more narrow. I usually just do it with scissors afterwards, but now I'm just layering up the hat again on another three layers of cardstock. So total there's nine, 10, 11, 12 layers of cardstock, like where the hat is, plus the extra three layers of like the colored pieces. So there's like a good, you know, 15 layers of cardstock in the top. It's fairly chunky, but it's not as chunky as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I was originally going to also like make his beard separate. It was just like too much fussy cutting. You guys know I've mentioned before, if you've been here, that I don't like fussy cutting. <laughs> so the minimal that I did is fine. It's also why I use the coordinating dies because I didn't want to have to cut around this a bunch of times. It is a simple image to cut out. It doesn't take too long, but I just don't like fussy cutting. Uh, so I'd rather just, you know, use my dies and then go from there. And what I did uh, at the beginning of this video was I slightly spritzed the front of the card base with shimmer spray and just so that it gave it a little bit of like sparkle to the card. And I also cut out this Buffalo check red, which again is available on my website for like $2. It's just a transparent PNG. It just prints the black. Then I print it out on Michael's Recollection 65 pound cardstock in different colors. Like I have it in reds and greens and blues and I did orange and purples for Halloween, um, which you might've already seen before from my Halloween videos. And then I cut a circle out just to ground Santa. And originally I was going to kind of center him. So he was a bit above, a bit below, but I liked him like kind of just having that little bit of uh, color around, you know, his whole body and then up into his head. This is like a technique I would use when I was doing more drawing back in the day, I would kind of like put a circle, but I would usually do it up around the head. Um, but because I wanted to ground him, I wanted to do it uh, a little bit lower. Now I'm just going to stamp the Merry Christmas from the stamp set, which is the larger sentiment. It does have a courting die, which I will use after. And I'm making it like two toned with, I think it's artichoke and noble fur inks from Lawn Fawn. These are like good Christmassy colors and I like to use them for wreaths and things. So I decided to use it for this card as well. And the green circle that I cut out is also noble fur cardstock. So it kind of coordinates. 
and I just wanted to not stamp it directly on the card because I did spray it already and I did it in white just so it helps blend into the background like it was meant to be there. It's another technique I like to do. I do this with uh, heat embossing sometimes, like I'll heat emboss on the same colored cardstock as the background, but just do it separately and then attach it after because then you're not warping your panels, um, which is a better way to do it. And then I'm just going to adhere this to the card and then the card will be done. So that's our first card for the holiday series. I'll be back again on Wednesday. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below and let me know your thoughts. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Also follow me over on Instagram and Facebook for additional content and inspiration for the holiday season. And until next time, thanks guys. Bye.